gosh, uh, there have been a number of obstacles uh, to setting up and growing the business. Uh, not least the fact that I set up the company thinking that I couldn't have children. So finding myself eight weeks pregnant on the evening after carrying a washing machine, a fridge freezer and a whole load of oak flooring up many flights of stairs was a little bit of a shock to say the least. <laughs> um, added to that, having just 12 clients by the time that child was born, no family nearby and some blue light trips to hospital in the first few uh, months after having Harry was a rather interesting situation to say the least. Trying to work while on uh, an IV line of antibiotics with an oxygen mask on while expressing milk in intensive care isn't something that I ever wish to do again. <laughs> The sleep deprivation, the normal issues of being new to parenthood, the insecurities and changes within friendships, coupled with the very real concerns of bringing in enough money and providing a superb service that would allow me to grow the business were all very real issues at the time. I remember that with, that with every four new properties that I took on, I was able to pay for half an extra day's childcare in a month. So yeah, that was, that was quite uh, challenging. I also think trying to grow a business in a place like Edinburgh is absolutely fantastic once you've got a really good and established name and network. However, I wasn't from Edinburgh originally. I have no family here, I wasn't educated here, and thus there was no natural referral or support network. It was a very challenging start to growing the business and I definitely grew much slower than I ever had anticipated. However, in hindsight, that slower and more methodical initial pace of growth did help me develop a fantastic ethos, a strong customer service proposition, and just a fantastic grounding in what I do, which has always allowed me to control the business and not have the business in control of me, if, if that makes sense.